Good evening, folks. Brock here with another figure review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai Movie Monster Series Space Godzilla, the most recent version released, and it came out this year in 2019. <sighs> Woo! So yeah, I am a pretty big fan of Space Godzilla now at this point. As a kid, this was my favorite Godzilla villain. But as years went by, I thought he was a very cheesy villain. Upon rewatching Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, this guy really grew on me. He did. He's got a really cool move set, and he's super fucking powerful. And yeah, this is actually a really cool figure. So I got here the card that comes with him, or the tag, has the picture of Space Godzilla, as you can see. And then it's got the silhouette, or more so his back on the back. Bad eye right there. And then you open it up, and there's the silhouette. And all this Japanese mumbo jumbo. Pretty cool. I do want to point out the negative right off the bat, and that's the fact that he looks a little bit cross-eyed. Just a tad. It's not that distracting, though, because Mechagodzilla's eyes were actually kind of like that, as you see here. So it's not... It's, not, it's really not bad, actually. It's not completely cross-eyed. But he just looks a little bit like it. But I really love the new paint job to give this one. The previous version, my god, looked like someone peed on his shoulders. There was too much white. There's all this scuff on his shoulders. And just it just did not look right. I feel they did a better job with the colors here. I think it's more movie accurate. Back on the paint job, though, they did do a really nice job on the back here on the dorsal plates. Very, very nice. But then they left one out. Now, on older versions of this guy, that is actually painted white. Not so much on this one, unfortunately. Uh, however, I got to say, though, it's still very nice. The sculpt is, I think, almost perfect, man. I, I think this is really nice. You know, they got the, the circular knees sculpted there. And <clears throat> the skin itself just looks really good. You know, I can't complain about the sculpt at all. Uh, the head, everything is just fantastic on this guy. For his articulation, his head does fully rotate. And then the arms can fully rotate, but they're hindered by his huge thunder thighs. But they do have rotation, both arms there. And that is it. I, for the longest time, thought this guy actually had leg articulation. He does not. I'm not sure why they didn't decide to give him leg articulation. That is a bit disappointing, because otherwise this probably would have been my favorite movie monster series, Godzilla Monster. Uh, but... Ah, that sucks that they didn't give him leg articulation. But honestly, overall, I think this is a really, really good figure. Um, you know, you can't afford that SH Monster Arts one like your boy here can't. Uh, you can't afford the X Plus one like your boy here can't. You can't afford some of the older ones that are really explicit like your boy here can't. All right, you get the picture. This guy is the most affordable one you're going to probably be able to get your hands on right now. Unless you try to find a different one in the aftermarket, which is still probably going to be a little pricey. Just look for this version more so. You know, if it's not SH Monster Arts or X Plus and you want a good vinyl Space Godzilla, this, the most recent one here, this guy, uh, is probably what I'm going to have to say go with. Because the other ones just don't really have an accurate paint job and, quite frankly, a shit paint job. Anyway, thank you for taking a look at my Bandai Movie Monster Series Space Godzilla. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that bell notification. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Check out some of the other videos and tell me what figures you'd like to see in the future. I got a ton of Godzilla stuff that's still on its way. So please be sure to uh, check it out. All right. You guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you all on the flip side.